Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing our very first real unboxing for Alien Romulus. The live stream didn't count, don't think that it did. If you didn't catch that, by the way, I basically went and showed off all this stuff, all the theater exclusive items, popcorn buckets, the cups, um, and there's, I actually added one more to this little collection, I'll show that off in another video. But this is the real stuff, the real merch. And all of this should be from Hot Topic. There's one item in here that isn't alien related. So I apologize from, uh, in advance, but it's from a movie that I, I ended up really, really loving. And it's recent and it's popular and it made a billion dollars. Gee, I wonder what that is. I, and I'm surprised they use as big as a box as they did for this because there's really only supposed to be like two small items in there. So, yeah. And no, I don't know where I'm going to put half this stuff. Because the room is to the brim at the moment. And you may notice the egg. It ain't here at the moment. I actually have walking space again. Where is it? There's a sneak peek. All right. I'm going to whip out the GoPro. And we're going to unbox this. All right, here we are. GoPro's working after 20 minutes of fighting with the SD card. It's really dark, so here we go. And let's start. Let's start with this guy because I'm gonna need the table to uh, lay these all out. Um, my cutting tool. That's right. I need my cutting tool. I'm stupid. So again, there should really only be two items in here and uh it's a pretty light box so i again i don't know why they put them in such a big box to tell you the truth because they really aren't all that okay so oh okay i get it so they put them in sh are they really that big though or i mean are the boxes huh okay well if you can't already tell there, there's there's your clue. Let's get these out of here. Wow, are they are they really bad? Okay. No, seriously, I, I expected. Uh, I didn't watch reviews or anything. I sort of expected these to be uh, like half the size that they are. But hold up, let's let's actually just open the shippers and, and, and see. Okay, yeah, they're basically the same. Wow. All right. Cool. Where am I gonna put these? I have no clue. Because I expected this to be dang, he's giant. <laughs> he's a he really is a giant. Alright. So, the scorched xenomorph. The Funko Pop version. Yeah, a lot larger than I expected. Cool. I'm so used to uh where are they? I'm so used to like these kind of guys, the little ones are uh for these yeah he's much bigger cool well better for me so I got this is just the typical scorched xenomorph looks cool and again I normally don't do Funkos but I made an exception with these because I do think the xenomorphs from Funko they're you know they're silly but I think they're a heck of a lot better than, uh... yeah, so here's the regular Xenomorph, which looks cool. Yeah, I think these are a heck of a lot better than, like, the human characters. I didn't get the human characters. Whoops. Yeah, I didn't get the human characters. I didn't get Rain or Andy. Those I really don't need. I'm never going to get those. Those are way too silly. Um, but whenever they do creatures and stuff like this, they're better. And yeah, Xenomorph and the Scorched version. And really the only difference is, um, in terms of the dome, is this one has the damage to it. But the cool thing about the Scorched version is, if you can't tell, the inner mouth is visible. And this one, it isn't. So, And, you know, in general, they're positioned differently, posed differently. So, yeah. Alien Romulus. Cool. 
Now, am I going to be keeping these in the box? No, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> these are these are coming out. In fact, should I open these now? Let's go ahead and just open these now. Hold up, let me actually change the 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 frame of the camera really quick. One sec. Okay, yeah, that's so much better. Yeah, let's just open these really quick. Uh, you know, obviously these are pretty collector friendly boxes, and I really don't want to bend them, so I want to be careful here. There we go. That's a bit better. They're very collector friendly, so if you want to put them back in, uh, you may do so. Let them fly out. I'm opening the regular, yeah, I'm opening the regular one here. The boxes are cool, and you do get a pretty neat background, which I'm going to use. That's nice. I'm going to put that on the Romulus shelf. Especially when the NECA ones come in, that'll be useful. And he just slips right out of there. Yeah, this is really cool. Let's get away from the blinding light, show you it a bit better. He's a big guy. Can this, can he, I know he comes with a stand. Can he stand on his own? Uh, barely. I mean, just a really light gust of wind and he's going flying. So, but luckily he does come with this. Comes with a, just a generic stand. Two pegs. Yeah, you really got to force his feet in there. Or her feet in there. But, yeah, and the head moves, too. So, awesome. Cool. I like, I love the dome. It's, it has, it gives that stripe pattern. That's really cool looking. I love the brown, too. Sweet. All right, and let's just go ahead and, and open this other guy here. The Scorched. Xenomorph. You know, the one thing about Romulus is that it, it was really tough to tell which Xenomorph was which, because for the longest time, the Scorched Xenomorph was the one being promoted as the alien, you know, in the movie. Sort of like the big chap of 79, and uh, there were a bunch of them, and I remember seeing him, that, this was the one in the cocoon, right? The one that really reminded me of Big Chap. Uh, but the Scorched, I mean, you could see, like, the dome was, but mm, it was pretty limited. You didn't get a lot of screen time uh, with the Xenomorphs in that movie. So, and yeah, this one uh, obviously has a different pose. And man, his leg is, or her leg, is bent. Hmm. Yeah, there it is. Just a little crack. Got the inner mouth there. It's nice. Let's put her on the stand, though. And, oh, two different pegs. Right? Yeah, those are two different sized pegs. But the feet, oh, I see, okay. So this one was actually uh, easier in terms of uh, putting the pegs, putting the feet on the pegs. But yeah, there they are. Awesome. <laughs> I don't have any more space on, on the Funko shelf. So I think, at least for the time being, let's put them this way, I think that's better for the poses. I think for the time being, these are going to go with my, uh, with my theater stuff. I'm putting just all the Alien Romulus stuff together. The only exception will be the NECA stuff. I think that'll go on the Prometheus and Covenant shelf. And obviously I'm going to use these for the Prometheus, Covenant, and Romulus shelf. Uh, because I don't really have a lot of backdrops. For that prequel shelf. And while this movie is technically not a prequel to Alien, it is a prequel to Aliens. So I'll take that as an excuse because I really don't have any more room for uh, a shelf dedicated just to Romulus. Uh, <laughs> space right now has been a, a bit of an issue, if you can't already tell. So I mean, I barely made enough room for the Prey shelf, and I'm probably going to scrap that idea because there, there aren't enough figures for a Prey shelf. Uh, all right, if you can't already tell, squishy, squishy, this might be some kind of cloth. I don't know. 
And I don't want to show you my address, so I have to open it backwards here a little bit. Gee, I wonder what those are. Oh my gosh. Watch how the first one I pull out is just... <laughs> it is. It's not... Of course, it's not Alien. Uh, yeah. So, I loved this movie, I think, like a lot of people. And they had a bunch of t-shirts. I mean, you know, it's a popular movie right now, so they're, they're promoting, promoting the hell out of it. And you can get a million different t-shirts, Deadpool or Wolverine or both. Uh, they're all a little bit too flashy for my taste. So I just went with the, just with the logo. Marvel Studios, Deadpool and Wolverine. Billion dollars. Sweet. I promise you the rest is, should be just alien. Should be. Unless I forgot something. This one I'm really looking forward to. Uh, this is not Romulus, but it is Aliens. And I don't think I have a t-shirt of the Queen on her own. I got a rug of the Queen. I, I wish I could keep that on, obviously, on the floor here, but there's, there's no space. Um, now I got a t-shirt of her. I think it looks really good. So you got the classic logo with the light in the eye and obviously the Queen. Sweet. All right. Let us see what is next. I forget how many shirts I ordered exactly. Oh, this one's really cool. Hadley's Hope. Population 158. Yeah, this one's really cool. Hadley's Hope, have a nice day. Got the gray background. That's awesome. Cool. Maybe now I can use this to dress up as Carter Burke for Halloween. He loves Hadley's Hope, doesn't he? Loves it. If I'm not mistaken, this should be the Romulus shirt. Hold up, let's find out. Together. Nope. But it is very cool. I don't know, is this, I forget, is this promoted as Romulus or is this just promoted as an alien shirt? I, I don't remember, but it's cool because you got like the saliva and stuff pouring off the inner mouth and the jaw and it's green and yeah, it's very cool looking. I love the dome. You can see stars in the background if, if you want to consider those stars. That's awesome. Again, I don't know if this one was promoted as, uh, as Romulus. It may have been. I don't remember. Last one. Yep. Wayland Utani. Jackson Star Mining Colony. That's a nice t shirt. I have a Waylon Utani shirt, but I don't have one with the yellow, with the yellow logo. I think I have one with red, or something like that, red and gray. Uh, but this one is not completely the classic one, but uh, still very cool. And I think that should pretty much do it. Uh, yeah, there's nothing else in there. Okay. Okay, we're back on the phone. So I guess really the only t-shirt out of this bunch, with the exception of, of the head, I, I don't know. Uh, the only one that's truly Romulus should be this one, right? Because of Jackson's, uh, Jackson's Star Mining Colony. Uh, obviously, if you watch Romulus, you know. Um, what, uh, is it LV-410? Is, is that where it's located? I forget exactly the, the name of the moon or planet, whichever one it was. I think it was LV-410. Hold up, it's bothering me, now I wanna check. Yeah, I wasn't making that up, it, it was LV-410. So it's cool to have some representation from the movie. That's nice. And I like the movie, I know the community is really divided over it. Uh, by a landslide, I've been talking to some people and yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> fans aren't happy. I liked the movie for what it was. 
does a lot of it not make a ton of sense? Yeah. Did it seem rushed? Definitely, but I still enjoyed it for what it was, and I enjoyed it more than Prey, and I enjoyed it a heck of a lot more than The Predator. And I compare these movies to Predator because, I mean, look, they all go hand in hand, right? So did I like it more than Prometheus or Covenant? I don't know yet. I need to watch it some more, but I liked what I saw. So, And I definitely plan on watching it again. So, if you want to hear more of my thoughts, I did a whole live stream on it. I might do a video, not sure. But I got my Funkos, and I got a bunch of new t-shirts, including Deadpool and Wolverine, which is lovely. I like that movie. And, to look, I got more backdrops for the shelf. Yay. All right. Let's do some promotions. Go check out Trophy Room on Facebook, a Facebook group created by yours truly made for alien predator collectors like yourselves and like myself, feel free to post about the movies, the comics, the lore, your collection, everything and anything, alien predator. With only one rule, don't be a dick. We also have a Discord server, Trophy Room, same name, so same rules apply. If you like what we do here, then you're definitely going to find like-minded people over there. We've got a bunch of different channels for movie talk, the latest trailers, lore talk, games, collection, you name it, it's pretty much there. We do have a separate channel, not just for aliens and predators, but for stuff that you collect that isn't just that. I like a lot of different stuff from Transformers to Gundam to Voltron, what have you. So if you have any pickups or pre-orders that you're interested in that aren't just this type of stuff, that'd be the place to go. And speaking of stuff that I collect that isn't just Alien and Predator, I do have a second channel, Pred Alien Dude Archives, where I share my collection that isn't this with all of you. Again, I collect a lot of different stuff. Star Wars, Transformers, Jurassic Park, especially Iron Man lately back into the Iron Man games. So, it's all there. Got a few videos uploaded, if you're curious. And I'm only going to be posted more. So, check that out if you want to hear what I have to say about stuff that isn't just a xenomorph or a predator. And again, if you like stuff that isn't just what we do here, I highly recommend that you go check out The Sanctuary on Facebook. A Facebook group created by yours truly. Alongside Smith Super Awesome Reviews and Mattitude 22 where you get to meet like-minded people who like a lot of different stuff in pop culture and collecting. We've been at it since 2017. I've been admin there with Mr. Smith and Matt for over seven years now, and we're going strong. No plans on stopping. If you stop on by, though, you can post as much as you want about whatever you want, even live stream. As long as it's pop culture related, pretty much everybody's welcome over there. And I am live every Friday night at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the Sanctuary YouTube channel, co-hosting the Spaghetti and Friends Toy Show. Again, this is something we've been doing for over seven years now. We're about to approach episode 300, and it's a good old time. Every Friday, we meet up, talk with all the people in the comments section, and, you know, we discuss the latest trailers, figure news, pre-orders, comic books, everything and anything pop culture we cover it there so if you want to see me in rated r format throwing f-bombs and going off on unrelated tangents with uh with the gentleman that's the place to go the sanctuary also has a discord server so if you head on there you're gonna find a bunch of different channels for a lot of different stuff whether it's games hobbies collecting pre-orders what have you it's pretty much all there and i know for a fact mr smith and matt love their wrestling their men and tidy whities throwing each other around in a ball pit or whatever they do over there they watch a lot of that stuff and i know for a fact a lot of you do as well so if you want to talk wrestling with like-minded people you got channels in there for that as well all right everybody that's pretty much a wrap on my end i'm happy with what i got here and no, I'm not, again, I'm not going to be picking up the Rain or Andy from this line. If they do any more creatures, uh, xenomorphs or you know who, I'm not going to spoil it, uh, I'd get those. 
But in terms of the human characters, no, I'm good. I think those, I think Funko's, Funko Pops of people, of humans, always look just ridiculous. So, and I have a few um, that I got as gifts and stuff, but <laughs> I don't really hunt those down. I just go for the creatures. And I got a whole new wardrobe, so I'm quite happy. And now I got a bunch of stuff to clean up, and now I got to figure out where those two are going to go. But again... It's probably, it's a huge mess. I just started setting this up. It's probably going to go here with the Romulus stuff, with the theater stuff. And yes, that was the additional one. The patch. Only in theaters, August 16th. So, um, yeah, I'll figure that out and we'll go from there. And yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll do more Romulus stuff, I promise. As always, people, have a good morning evening, midday, what have you, and take care. Danger. The emergency destruct system is now activated. The ship will detonate in T minus 10 minutes. The option to override automatic detonation expires.